So let's move to the next point. Now we're going to discuss about nodes and anti node. If anyone asks you, what do you mean by nodes? The place, the point where the probability of finding an electron tends to zero or equal to zero. If you look at this figure, look at here, the probability of finding an electron is very, very less, or you can say tends to zero. So this place is known as nodes. And what about antinodes? If anyone asks you, what is antinode? The place where the probability of finding an electron is maximum, that is antinode. If I talk about this reason, that is, it is antinodes. Clear to you? It's very simple. That is nodes, the electron density is zero. In, in terms of orbital, in terms of the value of psi, that is at nodes, the value of psi square is equal to zero. At anti nodes, the value of psi square is maximum. That is finding an electron is maximum. Clear friend? If I talk about this figure, px, py, and pz. Look at the figure, what happened here? If I talk about this side, that is the x-axis, here the probability is very maximum, here the probability is maximum finding an electron, but if I talk about this place, there the probability of finding an electron is very, very less. So if anyone asks you in which place there is probability of finding an electron is very less in case of Px, tell me, here is Px, that is x-axis has maximum number of electron, so which region has no electron, that is is yz clear to you for px yz is the nodal plane that is the place where the probability of finding an electron is very very less or zero if i talk about py now tell me where um, what is the nodal plane in this case that is the y axis definitely in xz the xz is the nodal plane clear to it's very simple now if i talk about z axis now tell me where is the probability of finding an electron is very very less that is the nodal plane in the nodal plane here, z-axis, so xy-axis is the nodal plane, clear friend? So, now moving here, we'll discuss the definition. Now, if anyone asks you, what do you mean by nodes, clear to you, friend? Nodes, the place, wait for a moment, friend. That is, nodes. It is a point when the electron density, that is at nodes, the electron density is zero or tends to zero. At nodes, we can say the value of psi square is zero or the value of psi is zero. Clear to you? Now, how to find the nodes? That is the formula of nodes, number of nodes is equal to n minus 1. Clear? n is equal to 1, 2, 3, that is cell, that is for k, uh, for first orbit, that is the value of n is equal to 1, the for second orbit, the value of n is equal to 2. Now, if anyone asks you, what are the types of node? As we know, electron has elliptical path, that is, it has radial part as well as the angular path. So, the types of node, there are two types of node. First one is friend that is radial nodes and the second one is angular nodes. If anyone asks you what do you mean by radial nodes? The point, the place where the radial wave function tends to zero. Radial wave function is zero that is known as radial node. What about angular node? The place where the angular wave function is equal to zero is known as angular node. Now how to find the radial nodes? and angular nodes. Radial nodes is also known as spherical node. So angular nodes is equal to L. If anyone asks you, find out the number of angular nodes. Angular nodes is equal to L. If anyone asks you, find the radial nodes, then what to do? Radial nodes is equal to number of nodes minus angular node. The formula is, tell me, n minus l minus 1. This is the 
फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ रेडियल नोड्स क्लियर अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग नोड्स इज अ पॉइंट वेयर द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग एन इलेक्ट्रॉन टेंस टू जीरो और इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ विल डू फ्यू क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू नोड्स एंड एंटी नोड दैट इज द मेन थिंग्स हाउ टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला नाउ इफ एनी वन आस्क यू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन find out the nodes in case of 2s in case of 2p in case of 3s in case of 3d tell me in case of 2s as we know number of nodes is equal to n minus 1 this is the formula that is if i talk about 2s then tell me what will happen in this case the value of n is equal to 2 so the number of nodes is equal to 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 now tell me number of radial nodes here this is the total number of nodes number of radial nodes and number of angular nodes clear friends now tell me what do you mean by uh, what is the number of radial nodes and what is the number of angular node as we know the number of radial nodes is n minus l minus 1 and angular nodes is l we people know for 2s for s the value of l is always 0 so in this case number of angular node is 0 clear if i talk about number of radial nodes then tell me how to find look at put here 2 l is 0 minus 1 that is the total num uh, that is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so radial node is 1 angular node is 0 clear is very simple to find the number of nodes now if i talk about 3d then what to do tell me friends look at what i'm telling this is 3d for d as we know for d the value of l is equal to 2 clear friend now tell me first of all in this case number of radial nodes clear as we know number of radial nodes is equal to n minus l minus 1 now put the value for n there is 3 put here is 3 3 minus 2 minus 1 that is equal to 3 minus 3 not equal to 1 that is equal to friend 0 now tell me what about the number of angular nodes in this case the number of angular nodes is equal to l and the value of l is 2 that is angular node is 2 and the radial node is 0 hence the total number of nodes in this case total number of nodes in this case is equal to 2 Two plus zero is equal to two. So this is the simple question related to nodes and anti-nodes. Now I am changing the pattern of the question. Now if uh, by using the graph, how to find the nodes? Look at what I am telling, friend. If I give uh, if I give you a graph, that is, this is question number two. How to solve such questions? this is the graph of psi square and a uh, we people know psi square is the probability factor it represent the orbitals now this is the graph for 1s and i am drawing the another figure here wait for a moment then what will happen tell me and i am drawing the next figure here this is the graph of psi and a clear to you friend this is the graph of psi square and a a is the distance from nucleus now tell me find out the question is find out the number of nodes here look at if the graph touches x axis that is r axis then that point is known as node 
in terms of simple language this is a divider if electron is moving and moving if there is a divider then is jumping that is here the probability of finding an electron is very very less and or you can say tends to zero this is known if graph touches a point that point is known as a node clear now if i talk about this graph this this is the graph between psi and r look at here the graph touches the r axis so this point is known as nodes clear now what about the case of 1s in case of 1s there is no any touching with the r axis so in this case no nodes now am i right or wrong check out by using the formula as i told you number of nodes equal to friend n minus 1 so look at in case of 1s number of nodes by using the formula is equal to n minus 1 in case of 1s put 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0 by using the graph you can say that is no nodes now if if anyone ask you find out the number of nodes in case of 2s this is the graph for 2s now what to do tell me is very simple if i put here n minus 1 n is equal to 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 check out there is only one point where the graph touches the x axis and this point is known as node so what i'm telling friend the pattern of question changes but the theory does not change it remains forever that is follow the solid theory if you if you have a strong or solid theory then you can easily solve the question related to any topic so friend is very simple now i'm giving another question i'm changing the pattern of question and now this question is tell me what will happen if there is a graph the question is psi 2s is equal to 1 upon 4 root 2 pi clear then 1 upon r naught 3 to the power 2 clear friend now 2 minus r naught upon a naught clear then e to the power minus r upon a naught this seems very big question this is a complete question from iit jee 2004 now the question is listen the question carefully friend what i am telling in this case here a naught put one more uh, one thing here we have to put a naught not r naught here is a naught a naught is the bow radius clear to you a naught is the bow radius and the radial nodes given the question is radial nodes in 2s at r naught clear to you then find the relation we have to find the relation between r naught r naught and a naught now tell me how to find the relation in this case it is simple as we know there is a node at nodes we know that is the value of psi or psi square is tends to zero that is here in this case psi 2 as a square is equal to zero if i put this value here then what will happen if you square these things same things will get now if i put this value here zero then all terms will be equal to zero this will come here then what we get 2 minus r naught upon a naught clear to you is equal to 0 now what will happen look at that is 2 is equal to r naught upon a naught and finally friend that is r naught is equal to 2 a naught this is the relation between r naught and a naught look at